Oh, hello there. I didn't see you there. Mr. Charles Darwin, at your service. Today on CWL Builds, Caleb is going to show you how to turn these boring old drawings into these with character and a story. Thank you for that lovely intro, Mr. Darwin. And yes, as he said, we'll be turning normal white paper like this into rustic old paper like this. So to start with, you'll need a piece of white paper. You can draw on it, you don't have to draw on it. I just happened to print out these images of Darwin's finches on it because I really enjoyed that image. You'll also need a tray to catch all the tea in. You don't have to do this. If you do this outside, you can do this right on the dirt and it'll be perfectly fine. You'll need a brush. You'll need tea. I'm just using this really cheap Lipton tea. You'll also need instant coffee. Now, it doesn't have to be Starbucks brand or anything like that. It just has to be instant coffee. And usually they come in these little packets like this. You might also want a lighter or a torch. So I have my piece of paper here and the first step we need to do is crumple it up in our hands. So the next step is to tear off some of the edges to make it more weathered. So the next step is to take your tea and paint it on the paper. I'm using an extra strong tea. I'm using about five bags per one cup of water here. And you're just gonna take your brush and brush it over the paper just like this. Now you're going to do the same thing to the back side as well. Now comes the part that really turns this into weathered old paper. You're going to take your instant coffee and you're going to sprinkle it over the top of your wet paper. It has to be wet in order for the instant coffee to dissolve into the paper. Now just throw it out in the sun and let it dry. Or if you're impatient like I am, or it's freezing cold outside, you can just throw it in the oven at whatever the lowest temperature it can go to. Mine was 175. And there you go, after about 5 to 15 minutes, depending on how much tea you put in, it should be nice and dry. Now it's time, if you want, to burn the edges. Now be careful with this, you can overdo it, and I have overdone it in the past. So start off small. It's easier to add more later than it is to take it away.
here I'm just lightly touching the top of the paper with the flame to darken it. I'm not burning all the way through, this just sort of chars the very top layer of the paper. And there we have it, the weathered paper is complete. Now this can be done with any sort of paper, printer paper, cardstock, envelopes, construction paper, whatever you want, and it's all done with items that you probably already have around your house. So if you guys do this, be careful with the flame, but have a lot of fun doing it. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have any comments or questions, put them down in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a like. I do have other videos on my channel. You can check them out in the description and in the cards at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.